Brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today、uh, is Thursday, December the second in the West, and the East has already entered the third of December. So I'm going to share with you、uh, the vision, some of the vision that I was given yesterday, December the first, and a bit of decoding at the.、Uh, You know, from、uh, most of it is to do with the decoding,、uh, more or less like giving us、uh, some of the clues. Okay, but only just now I spent hours, hours of、uh, asking the Lord, as、uh, hours of recalling what I saw in the past and rec-、uh, how to say. Try to connect the dots. Okay, try to connect the dots. Now, how to decode de- de- is like a puzzle.、Uh, we've been given thirty thousand plus visions. That means thirty thousand plus other、uh, things. These are puzzle pieces. All right. So we have to connect the dots together to come to the center. Okay, to get the number. Okay, now that is to do with heaven. Heaven has already planned the day. Abba Father has already got the day and and the day and so on. But well, you say the Bible said the Lord Jesus said, "No wonder the day, the day and the hour, not even the Son of Man." Yeah, not even the Son of Man. When Jesus was on earth here, he was Son of Man. Okay, so and. And we say that he is still son of man. Okay, that's why he has got physical body.、Uh, he was son of man, so he did not know everything. All right, but when he ascended on the right hand side of the Father, ascended into heaven onto the right hand side of the Father, of course he has all the power and authority. He knows the day and the hour. Okay, so but not at that time. So. Today the Lord want us to decode as well. That means when、uh, just have the Lord say, "I'm in the Father." Okay, the Father is in me. Now we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ is in us. So we are in God's family. So when we are in God's family, surely God will want us to know the day is coming, and He needs one group of people. Okay,、uh, of course. Led by、um, this person, Lily. Okay, now I have to lean on、uh, the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit to move on each day. Without、um, visions from God, without all the wisdom knowledge from God, it is so difficult to do anything. Okay, to do anything for God. What to say about this decoding? All right. So we have moved thus far. Uh, if we move further than that, just like the other day, I try to go into、uh, February and、uh, March. You know, I really got so sick, you know, because that was not God's will. Okay, so the Lord wants us to lean on Him every day to move on, but we have to do our work as well. So we cannot be lazy. <clears throat> okay, so let's move on. Every day, move close to God. Okay, just that、like、the Lord has given us two greatest commandment of all is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength, and to love your neighbors as you love yourself. So, in other words, every day we walk along the path of righteousness into holiness. Now, the Lord wants us to be hot Christian. He say he doesn't want lukewarm Christian in Revelation. Okay. Uh, about Lordisha Church, he doesn't want lukewarm Christian. He want hot Christian, those Christian that really love Lord Jesus Christ. And the cold one, well, cold one has not is how to say that cold one. They know that they are not Christian, okay. And the lukewarm, lukewarm, the Lord doesn't want lukewarm because the lukewarm think that they are very holy. They go to church on Sunday and sometimes they do the quiet time, maybe a few minutes. Okay, they think they know God, but inside their hearts they don't. And from the attitude, from the character, from what they are doing every day, they dishonor God. Okay, not bring glory to God. Instead of bring glory to God, they dishonor God. You see. So everybody, let's move on. And I'm going to share with you、uh, the the Lord's word. Okay, this is from Matthew chapter eight, verse five to seventeen, talking about faith. Let's look at the faith of the centurion. Ah,、huh? so verse five, when Jesus had entered Capernaum, okay, a centurion came to him asking for help, and he said, "Lord, my servant lies at home, paralyzed, suffering terribly." And Jesus said to him, "Shall I come and heal him?" And then what did the centurion say? He say, 
Then the centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come unto my roof, but just say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes, and that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. Now, everybody, can you see what this man, he has the faith. Not only the faith, he has love. He has love. He is a humble man. He has love for his soldiers. He has the love for his servant. Okay, can you see today many people when the servant gets sick, well, you go home. Okay, you cannot work for me anymore. No, not this man, even paralyzed, he couldn't do anything. And he really have mercy and pity upon this servant. And he looked for Jesus, okay, whom he heard that is a healer, okay, is called Son of God, you know, uh, is a prophet. So he himself, I he was not a Jew, okay, he was a Roman soldier, okay, so he went to Lord Jesus Christ to ask for help, and he was such a humble, humble leader, okay, such a humble leader, and who cares so much for his, uh, whole, for his seven, okay, so let's look at next one, so I have to put, okay, next one, verse, where is it, verse 10, when Jesus heard this, he was amazed. You see, Lord Jesus loved humble men. Lord Jesus loved a man who loved others. Can we see that? First of all, he loves his servant. Second, he has the faith. All right? And he was humble to come before Jesus. Maybe people were pushing him away. You are Roman soldiers, you know, or Jesus is a Jew, you know, can come, you know. No, 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 no. Lord Jesus, okay, see through a person's heart, you know, even though it was the first time Lord Jesus saw him, right? And Lord Jesus was amazed and said to those following him, say, truly, I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. Can we see that? Okay, Lord Jesus said, I've not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. Can, you know, when we say up to this, or can we look at what we are doing today? The many people may say, Lily, why don't God choose a pastor, uh, a professor, a doctor, a theologian doctor, or maybe a Jew, you know, a rabbi, all right? Or maybe someone in the West, the Westerner, you know, because there are a lot of missionary reaching out to the Asia. And honestly, uh, we, by God's grace that we receive the, in fact, for me, became Christian in England. Okay, so I'm grateful to the Western uh, preachers and uh, Western missionaries and so on. We are very, very grateful. But somehow, the Lord said today, okay, this applied to today as well. The Lord is looking for someone okay, in, in among mankind who has great faith, who really know Jesus and love Jesus, you see. So first of all, the Bible, Bible is about love. So love, faith, and hope, isn't it? So that's why we got to prepare three gifts. There's faith, hope, and love. Now verse 11, I say to you that many will come from the east and from the west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. So, uh, heavenly kingdom, who is it? It's new heaven, new earth, okay? So, we men live on the new earth. Uh, the heaven, heaven only for God, for God, for the heavenly armies, for the angels, all right? For 24 elders, for the four living creatures, and so on. For, yeah. So, for the heavenly beings, all right? Now, verse 15. Uh, 15. So Lord Jesus say, those who had such great faith, you know, okay, well, in the in the end, I mean, in the future, there are people from all over the world who have such faith, you know, to have feast in the end with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But, but Lord Jesus say what? Talking about the Jews, all right? So that's why well, when we are doing decoding this group, we are not Jews, we are Chinese. Today, Chinese, you know, being hated by the Westerners, okay? Westerners hated by the West, by the West government and so on. But somehow, Lord has chosen us, right? And Lord, 
and for many years we've been praying for Russia. We've been praying for Israel. Actually, Israel is the main country that we've been praying, really pray every day. We cry out to God. And then we also pray for Russia. Russia since 2009. Pray for about 10 years, 9 to 10 years. And then we also pray for China. And today we are so happy, really, really happy that China and Russia can work together. And what about Israel? For many years when Nadariahu was the prime minister, he worked together with Russian President Putin. And that was really you know, so happy, even though Nadayahu made a lot of mistakes, you know, somehow he worked together with Russia as well. Because in Russia, there are many Jews, you know. Now, next one, verse 12. But the subject of the kingdom, that is talking about the Jews, okay, will be thrown outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Okay, today, if you look at a lot of, uh, how to say, wicked leaders, uh, you can say that, Many of them are Jews, okay? But not all. Now, verse 13, Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, let it be done, just as you believe it would. And his servant was healed immediately at that moment, you see? So Lord Jesus did not go to the centurion house, God did not go to the Roman soldier's house, but somehow the servant was healed at that moment, okay? Now, Jesus healed many. When Jesus came to Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever, okay? And then he touched her hand and the fever left her. And she got up and began to wait on him, okay? Began to wait, wait me to serve Lord Jesus, all right? To then evening, when evening came, many, many were demon-possessed, were brought to him. And he drawn out the spirit with a word. And he healed all the sick. You see, because the Lord Jesus had compassion, had love for these people. He really feels sorry for them, you see. So when you pray for people, you need to have compassion for the people. You need to have love. The miracle will happen. If we pray for others, we do it just for the sake of prayer, that's all. No, it doesn't work, okay? So through my ministry, okay, for the, since I became Christian, right? When we have, when I have the compassion, love for the people and pray for them, miracles always happen. Sometimes just instantly, honestly, okay? Why do I have to lie? <laughs> that doesn't honor God, okay? Uh, again, it's not good for me too, okay? Now, verse 17, this was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities, okay? He took up our sickness, our illnesses, and bore our diseases. So that is Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for people, people being healed because of Lord Jesus Christ. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, this shall be done, okay? So everybody, let's look at the journal page, I mean. So let's look at the journal page, okay? So from the right-hand side, you can see one means January 29th and 30th, okay? That is what uh, I wrote yesterday, or this morning, early this morning, all right? But just now, I did a lot of work and asked God, kept on waiting on God and asking God for, the, uh, for wisdom, uh, for the decoding and I finally up to this moment I can say that tomorrow I have to change to 30 and 31st that is our Gregorian calendar okay so if it's 30 and 30th uh, 30th and 31st sorry 30th and 31st did I say wrongly just now I'm so sorry yeah huh? it's 30th and 31st of January so that shall be Sunday and Monday, we go back to Sunday and Monday again, okay? They got other vision to confirm that, all right? And the Jewish calendar, the Chinese calendar should be the uh, 28th and 29th uh, in the Jewish calendar, all right? And the Chinese calendar. So, there are two, the Chinese and the Jewish calendar shall be twins, all right? Shall be twins, all right? That also... 
um, and, and well, never mind. Okay, next one we uh, there's a, a clock. Okay, in fact, we were given half of the clock, but I make it a circle. Okay, one full clock, and then two parallel line in blue. And uh, the whole thing is blue and written down twenty. Now, when think of blue, we always think of the Jewish calendar. All right, so at the nine o'clock, in fact, twenty plus nine equal to twenty ninth. 29th of Shabbat, okay, that shall be the 31st of January, all right? Now, if we move on with the clock, so 20, 21st movable until the uh, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock shall be the 27th. In fact, just now I also saw the number 27. So that means completion. Complete, complete waiting. Complete and the next day shall be the rapture day. All right, so that's why. So the clock, another clock is four parallel, two parallel line. Okay, uh, um, uh, two ten o'clock. Ten means completion. All right, so completion is not the same as rapture day. Now I re realize that. Okay, now uh, I let's stop. Stop means everything done. All right, so 27 finish waiting, finish uh, decoding. Finish, uh, how to say, uh, uh, waiting and so on, all right? So next, move to the 5 o'clock position. That's what we keep on seeing, 5, right? 5 o'clock position is the 28th. 28th in the Jewish calendar and Chinese calendar is the 30th. It's the west going home. And then we also saw 6 o'clock going upwards, right? That is the east. The east shall be 29th of Shavet or 29th of the Chinese calendar, 12th month. That shall be the 31st of January, all right? So, and then uh, I still remember sometime... In March, beginning of March, I think it's the 3rd of March 2019. We have this vision. It's very unusual one. Okay. Uh, you have five column, but then th uh, three in the middle one. I got 23, 23, 23. What is my 23, 23, 23? Tomorrow I'm going to share with that one. Well, today I put it down. That means there are three. Uh, they are the clues for the day that been given but you have to eat another 23 days, right? In fact, they are the Gregorian calendar. Is it? Uh, no, not Gregorian. Not, uh, let's see. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Can be Gregorian together with the Jewish, all right? Or with the Chinese. Okay, next one. Eat here, eat here, one day, one day, one day. There is also a clue that in your decoding, you need to eat 24 days. Okay, okay, 24 days uh, for each one. Okay, so there are uh, at least five or oh, five, six. Hmm, five, six. Yeah, actually, uh, I wrote four only because there's enough space for four, but I was not too sure whether it's five or six, you know, below. But I keep on coming to my mind is five, okay, because the vision was so fast. Then it's five, it is five, the one on top. Eight together shall be the six that remind us about one five six red color okay red color january and then five six yeah so five six plus twenty four five plus twenty four equal to twenty ninth okay and then six plus twenty four equal to thirtieth you see mix again why do i say mix you know five plus twenty four is twenty nine is the jewish calendar twenty ninth of Shabbat or the 12th month is the same as 31st of January. Now, if it's 6, 6 plus 24 equal to 30, okay? So, 30 January is the West going home. So, that's why it's a mix again. Now, I realize just now I did somewhere, I realized quite a number of the, uh, the, 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 the day, you know, being given a uh, mixture, okay? That's why we have to do the decoding according to at least three calendar, the Gregorian, the Jewish, and uh, uh, the Chinese. But the Jews has two calendar, okay, two. Only the year changes, the month changes, but the day is still the, the, the same, okay, both are the same. But anyway, at least three calendars. Now, next one, S F five six, and then go into the target. That target we can consider as one day, all right? One day, because from the east to the west is considered as one day, uh, 24 hours, John, okay? 24 hours, John. 
so sf is 19 plus 6 is equal to 25 and then 5 6 all right so 25 plus 5 equal to 30 and then 25 plus uh 6 equal to 31st okay so 31st a just now uh we ate oh yeah yeah if, if we ate sf all right if we add S, sf so they come to 30th and 31st that should be the gregorian calendar okay next one got the 11 o'clock and one o'clock that means uh, the jew shall be shaved and our calendar uh, that we use every day shall be january shall be january in fact uh can you still remember there's a calendar but tomorrow i'm going to uh, share there's uh on the 12 o'clock written down 28 and then the one across should be 29th so shavak 29th should be the east going home that shall be the 31st of january i think you'll get headache after listening to all this yeah so because we're doing decoding together so i have to tell you about the work okay that we are doing uh and then up to this moment all right so next one a so-called like zero it can also look like uh look like oh okay look like uh, one month or look like one day and so on so that is talking about uh the uh in fact it, uh, talking about the the month okay the zero okay the zero the rupture day zero okay is uh, there's a one is 30 30th you know i was thinking there was a chinese writing is a uh sang si yi 31st and there's one also sang si e 32nd why 32nd one month we got 32 you know 32 that must be in heaven new heaven new earth okay that mean uh finish going home okay three two means finish going home so that means we are on the other side already by february the first okay in the east and the west will be by the very end of january all right so next one uh is the that one i'm going to share later okay the rest i'm going to share later tomorrow i'm going to share again oh yeah we come to 17 17 okay 11 11 it's 28 28 is the jewish calendar 28 the, the the jewish 28 and the chinese also 28th of december uh there is chinese calendar so they are both talking about the west uh 30th 30th of january going home and then next one we have one eleven they are all in red one eleven and then seven actually the other day i wrote one 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 and then seven and i keep on thinking you know i think i saw this in the middle one one is very close so might as well uh here make it clearer it's one and then eleven seven so one two one two means 12 all right so and then you have 17 uh no no one two means 12 and then two seven means 27 okay okay what does it mean by that that mean uh finish okay complete complete on the 27 there's chinese and the uh, and the jewish calendar 27 we complete waiting or complete decoding and so on so uh we finish the word we are going home on the next day so that is the jewish calendar and the chinese calendar and next one one eleven seven so eleven uh can means the jewish calendar 11 and then outside 17 one seven seventeen seventeen plus 11 equal to 28 is the jewish calendar okay 28th okay that shall be 30th of january shall be the day we are going home all right now 11 also stand for rapture and the, the the egg okay talking about the egg the boy egg all right got the the two circle as well as the number okay the two circle was they were perfect circle you know so let's see three means to have you ever found an egg with two circles or maybe an egg with a circle this circle is really clear you know you can go to the youtube channel and go back and see the good pictures of an egg okay so it's really really clear you can see the lines it's really clear okay now 17 11 okay it's 28th okay 28th of shavet there's another 11 right so shavet okay shavet uh 28th is the 30th of january and then three can means finished okay three can mean finished now next one uh if you add uh 28 plus 3 okay 11 17 28 28 plus 3 equal to 31st and that 31st can means january 31st the east going home 
amazing. I did not put down 31st, so I'm going to put it down now because I this uh this work was done early this morning. So just now I did a lot of work, hours, hours of work. So it came uh until to now come to a conclusion that we are going home on the 30th and 31st. And then next one, look at number one. Uh, when I saw God's uh, both hands, I can say, you know, look at the fingers, look like the Holy Spirit. But look at the, the gown and sound, look like Lord Jesus, okay? So anyway, God, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are three in one. But Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit is the uh, Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus has seven spirit of the Lord, all right? Has seven spirit, right? And they are also Holy Spirit, right? So Holy Spirit is also spirit of Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit is also the Spirit of the Father. You know, when I close my eyes, I still see the numbers. Can you imagine always close my eyes, I see all the numbers. I, it's not they are really there, you know. It's not that people, 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 it's, it's not that let a split of a second of the children. No, it's there. It's there for sometime for a few seconds. Okay, now I can see what. Lord, okay, C7. I can, uh, there's 17, 7 and then on top, I, I 27 okay 7 17 27 that's exactly what the Lord was showing me last time he said 1 18 28 okay 1 17 17 27 all right and so on so next one uh so I saw uh the Lord was having something like a iPad you know it's not iPad it's iPad yeah, iPad or notebook like this, you know, but it's a transparent one. It's very, it's, it's with light, you know, with bright light, you know, silvery light as well. And then he was doing something there, all right? So next one, immediately, uh, next one, because there is a 310, and then three, three minutes later, three minutes, very significant number three, okay? It's God's number. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, three minutes later, I saw a young lady, okay, that represent the church. And she was, uh, she, her dress is bluish green. Blue stand for heaven, green stand for gold. And then she was trying to reach out something on the shelf. But somehow, there's someone coming, okay? I believe it's the Holy Spirit, okay? The Holy Spirit came, tried to help her. In other words, this church, well, we represent the church as well, and there are many, many people going home, okay? It's not our group only, okay? But we try, we work together with heaven. So in order to work together with heaven, we need the work of the Holy Spirit, all right? Now, next one. So we cannot use our own wisdom knowledge, you know? There's no way. Just like the other day, I tried to do it, okay, into February and March. There was not, God never asked me to do, but I, I say, Lord, I've been going around the bush for so long, okay? I might as well go into February and March and see, you know? And I was became so sick. And then the next day, the Lord said, you, well, what you did, your decoding was not right. <laughs> Okay, was well, not right, but never mind. At least we try, and the Lord was so happy that we try. At least uh, try hard, and then He gradually gave me. Okay, right, Lily, I know you try your best, so I'm going to give you now. I'm going to give you clue, but you have to go step by step. Okay, so that's how we are going step by step each day. Now, next one, I saw the Lord peel the banana. Okay, the banana and. And there's one line in the middle, okay, this uh, little, little skin, one long thin skin, okay, one long skin in the middle, and to split into two, okay, split into two parts. So one is December, one is January, okay. So that means we have two months to go this December and January, end of January, we are going home. Because just now, I also, in fact, not only just now, yesterday and the day before, it's talking about end of the month, all right. Uh, next one. So seven something, I don't know whether it's seven a.m. or seven something, did not let me see it, and then equal to 12 midnight. What does it mean by that? Now, normally we say, wow, well, the world now is reaching uh, 11.58 or 11.59, when by the time 12 o'clock, bang, okay? That's exactly 12 midnight, okay? 12 midnight, and this one is towards the east. And I think it's talking about 7 a.m., okay? If I'm not right, it's talking about 7 a.m. That means the east will be 7 o'clock in the morning, as I say again. When the Lord says 7 a.m., I cannot guarantee that it's 7 o'clock exactly. 
so it's you have to plus minus all right so if it's seven o'clock in the east plus minus a malaysia uh, singapore china indonesia and uh, all the southeast asia country okay they are all do, having the same time okay seven o'clock seven same clock okay seven uh, same time zone so that shall be david seven o'clock in the morning we here in new brunswick okay canada here uh shall be seven o'clock in the evening and toronto shall be six o'clock in the evening and vancouver shall be seven minus four you got three o'clock in the afternoon okay in the afternoon all right so let's look at next one I saw 11. That 11 can stand for rapture. It can for stand for the uh, Jewish calendar or the uh, yeah, Jewish calendar Shabbat. Okay. Now, if you combine with the hours, it's 9.37. The, the time is 9.37. 3 plus 7 equal to 3 plus 7 equal to 10. Okay. 9 plus 10 equal to 19. Okay. 19 plus 11 equal to 30 okay that should not be east okay because this this was done in the morning this morning but just now i uh the uh, uh i mean i did the word is 30 the east should be 31st the west should be 30th okay next one i saw uh, it's the time 9 38 okay 9 38 is the same as 9 11 okay i mean the way of decoding okay 9 11 well and then if you 9 11 that mean plus together is 20 okay it's salvation now i saw my younger grandson joseph okay he was running in front of me some way some distance and then he ran one round to me okay is it's not one round yet so that can say that 11 okay yeah uh, one round is 12 hours so 11 hours like this all right so that can stay now 11 all right 11 11 11 plus 11 22 22 plus 9 equal to 31st okay moving one round the earth is a round one okay so moving one round okay from the west to the east okay uh and then coming back to okay it can means wow well, uh they got 31st and they got 30th okay next one number um, if this one round like this can stand for the jewish okay the jewish the Jewish Shabbat. Just now we also talked about. Uh, okay, it can be the Shabbat. Okay, next one is talking about. I saw the vision of twenty nine eleven. So eleven can stand for the uh, the Jewish calendar eleventh month twenty ninth. Okay, that should be the East going home. That shall be the thirty first of January. All right, and then I saw the Holy Spirit sitting there, and he turned his face and to look at me. He said, "Lily." Here's the clue, okay? You better decode it, okay? Next one, I saw four columns in one row, okay? And I saw a, a red one, the first one red, the second one is a creamy one, okay? And the next one and the next one. So what does it mean by that? Now, I remember that a few years ago, I saw three red lights, okay? Three red lights. So if I put three, we broke three and then the last one the creamy one i put to the back you know why because this one light one light and then there's a, a, a after that creamy creamy stand for what creamy color creamy color stand for milk creamy color stand for honey okay the place of honey and milk that is the new heaven new earth all right so the last one should be new heaven new earth so let's come to so the first light second light the three lights that i saw right so i better put it in first light second light third light so three lights and then the last one is the new heaven new earth right okay let's see the three lights can it be 29th uh uh it's Shabbat. Okay, let's see Shabbat. Shabbat in the Chinese calendar. Just now, I even saw 27, right? I saw 27, 28, 29. That really match this one. So, and then that shall be January 29, 30th, and 31st. You see, uh, we saw 29 in blue. That should be the Jewish, okay? But anyway, I also put 29 in blue. That can, I should put it green, okay? 29, that means completion. And we are going home 30 30 and 31st and then into new heaven new earth with honey and milk okay next one eight uh the lobes four fingers up the right hand and then the the thumbs going into the the palm and then there's a pen going up 
So that means I think he was pointing to the west. Okay, five o'clock to eleven. That means uh, Shavet Shavet five Shavet five can be Shavet five. Um, no, this one Shavet five. If we add up the time twenty plus uh no. Shavet, Shavet, Shavet. Okay, 11 is Shavet. 5, 24, 29. Okay, so it's, it's not really pointing to the to the west, okay? If we do it like that, why did I put down 20? Oh, it's the 5 o'clock, okay? 5 o'clock plus 24 is 29. Now, this 29, as I said already, this what I was done in the morning, all right? 29 of Shavet shall be the 31st of January. That should be in the east. That's why it's using the right hand and also, uh, anyway. Uh, all together, uh, 30, the fingers, all the four fingers, it, it means 30. Okay, it means 30. This 30, okay. 34 also, yeah. 4 also stand for heavenly kingdom, right? So heavenly kingdom for thirtieth. This can be the Jewish as well. So the Jewish, okay, the Jewish thirtieth of November shall be February the first. Okay, uh, then we shall be in the kingdom of God. We shall be in the heavenly kingdom already. But anyway, let's move on. 933. Three. And then there's one line going to the east and then pa pass over, cross, across to the other side. So 933. Three. That 9 can refer to 20 plus 9, 29. Okay, finish. 3-3 three, three means finish. All right. So 29th is 31st in the east. Yeah, that's why it's passed over to the east. So it's finished. That's correct then. So 9, just now I saw 9, uh, 7, 17, 27. And in the past, the Lord say 8, now I saw, okay. 8, uh, 18, 28. 9, 19, 29. All right. So that means 29 finished in the east. Uh, There's the Jewish and the Chinese calendar. Next one, I saw a circle on top. Or it's like a zero a hole, and then got Mayo. Ma means mother, mother's friend. My mother's friend, my mother's friend is in the east. Okay, so it's talking about the east, right? And the time is ten. Ten mean completion. So Mayo is seventeen strokes. Seventeen strokes plus a circle is uh, twelve. So it's 29. So 29th of a Jewish calendar or Chinese calendar, 12, 12, 12. That is 31st of January. So this morning, you can see that this morning, I was still not that sure, okay? Then I need other, uh, more vision to back up what, uh, what I say 30th and 31st, right? Next one, I saw a note, you know, the other note, okay, the stove note. And the Lord turn it, there's a red dot, okay? Turn it from 1 o'clock to 12 o'clock. So it means a countdown, okay? From 13 to 12, a countdown. So 12, this red dot can refer to the Chinese one, okay? So from the what uh, January is also equal to the Chinese calendar, December, okay? In the Chinese calendar. So it's a countdown is uh, talking about we are going to January, but today we are in December. So doing the countdown now. So everybody get ready. We need to go home. Now, there's something here. When I was doing the 933 that time, even with the, the pen, okay, going 5 up to 11. Just now I say already East, isn't it? So that time, 6, 11 a.m., I heard the voice China say China, okay, so talking about that one is referring to the China time, okay, China day, all right, and then, uh, and later on, this one, okay, when I was doing the Mayo, okay, that one Mayo in the east, okay, then I saw a lady's face first, I saw a lady's face first, and then I saw my mother's face, really right in front of me, okay, it's in bright color, it's in, not bright color, in bright light, Okay, my mom is was a Christian. She passed away already. She is now in the kingdom of God, in the heavenly kingdom, on the new heaven, new earth, that side. I saw her. I, 
yeah, I, I saw her later. Yeah, I saw her as well. Okay, but I saw the house of my father and my mother on the other side. Okay, it's a beautiful wooden house because they love wood, I think, and very, very uh, high class deck out wood. Okay, so everybody get ready. We shall be home. Okay, and get ready. Make sure we are not left behind. Amen.